Go tell DJ Mew he killed the gospel industry in the country. Controversial gospel artist Rington Apoko now hits on DJ Mo on claims of engaging female artists sexually to get airplay while at NTV. I have performed in Jimmy Fallon's show in the United States, among other big shows. I believe Kenyans can get to this level. Eric Omondi now rallies 75% content airplay as Nigerian artists skyrocket to collaborate with international artists like Justin Bieber and Lil Nas X. DJ Shitty releases a song responding to his baby mama Foz Hussein on reports of sending 150 Bob Kenyan shillings for child support and and Kanye West could soon be arrested as much evidence suggests. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. I'm Kingsley Onwoko for Mungai Eve, Entertainment News Roundup. In the wake of a sunny Saturday, self-proclaimed gospel chairman Rington Apoko has quote-unquote caused violence to the Muraz family. With this time being uninvited to any scandal, Rington Apoko is bringing claims that the gospel DJ and entertainer DJ Mo killed the gospel entertainment industry in the country. Rington, through an Instagram video, says DJ Mo denied airplay over gospel content on reasons of being denied sexual pleasure by the female artists in the country. Rington Apoko says several upcoming artists will approach DJ Mo to play their songs on television and for, and for payback he demanded for sexual intercourse. Yes, in this month of February, this is the second time Rington Apoko is causing trouble to the Muraz family. On the Valentine's Day, Size 8 Reborn launched an album at the Panari Hotel and as documented by Mungai Eve YouTube channel, Rington was chased out violently in the event. When asked on the reason why Size 8 on national radio said Rington walked on stage at the time the album was being dedicated to God, she fathers to refute Apoko's anointing saying she only wanted pastors and evangelists best known by her and DJ Mo. On this scuffle, the gospel chairman knelt down for forgiveness as documented by Mungai Eve at his Runda home. Rington asked DJ Mo to find it within his heart and his wives to forgive him. We are yet to find out whether DJ Mo will proceed to court over defamatory claims by Rington Apoko. However, the artist wasn't clear to name Uriah's name as DJ Mo but rather DJ Mio. But what was clear is the DJ Mio was once an NTV gospel DJ on Sundays. Na DJ Mio peke yake aliweza kuwa gospel music Kenya tantam DJ Mio alikula kondo wa Mungu waulize wasani wote wa kike Kenya Moving on swiftly, Eric Omondi rises to the news of Nigerian artists collaborating with United States of America based artists and feels things are not right with Kenyan artists. Early before dawn, Eric Omondi has made a long post on his near 4 million Instagram page reposting photos that circulated yesterday after the news of the Nigeria's Omalay upcoming music video with Justin Bieber, the self-proclaimed entertainment president writes these and I quote wake up kenya wake up my heart still bleeds for my people all these people left kenya and went straight into doing big collabs with huge american artists while your local artists are left wallowing in the list of achievements they can't even get a collab with zuchu this young boy or malay was in kenya four times last year akakulampaka msichana wenyu akatoka na do zenyu akaenda kulipa justin bieber na pesa zenyu wake up protect your own you are a gold mine and you are literally being mined dry. He has fathered his explanation on the matters through several replies on his comment section. Replying to a fan who said, Pia wewe tungekua tunakuona Germany, si Rwanda na marangi kama wazimu, Eric Omondi took a swipe on him and said, Are you serious? We are trying to avoid bringing people to Kenya until we are okay. Hatutaki Kevin Hart huku tunataka musapot watu wenyu kwanza.
The comedian has in the recent days been lobbying maximum priority to local entertainers asking them to better their art. Over the December holidays, Eric Omondi severally asked Kenyan artists to quit curtain raising for international entertainers like Jamaica's conscience, among others, pushing the agenda to fit his desires locally. On the 9th of February, the 39 years old rallied a bill on the floor of the parliament through Embakasi Member of Parliament Babu Owino, people living with disability representative Oleson Cook. Sare Member of Parliament Charles Jaguar and the South B Member of Parliament John Carrier to have local content get 75% airplay in local streaming platforms that include TV and radio. Eric has reposted clips of DJ Mo, Moji Short Baba and Major who support his idea. Take a look. Ni manala ume post uka sema uka post kuna Omale ako nangoma na Justin Bieber uka sema wasani wetu they don't have actually even a collab with Zuchi. Awa tu wote ni watatu kuna Omale kuna wapostu wa Nairobi gossip Omale awa watatu wote wametoka Kenya hii December mungena kuna you boy this guy the gay guy umkubu America Lil Nas. Lil Nas, mungina kona Justin Bieber, wanaongea hivi benonge na we. Na juzi ya likuwa hapa ni Mombasa na msani wetu, kwenye wakuwa kufanya ni kolabu. So, that just goes to prove my point, if, that our watu wanakuja hapa, jukuna gold. Wanachimba yo gold, wanabeba, wanenda wanapea Justin Bieber, wanafanya kolabu. So, tufunge gates kidogo. Tuta tuchimba our own gold, tukwe kama hao. And to some entertainment with DJ Shiti and Baby Mama, DJ Shiti's Baby Mama asks the comedian to come clean on his side of the story to their fans to judge it. The stand-up comedian and actor DJ Shiti has responded to allegations of financing his child support bill with 150 Kenyan shillings through a song. On Friday, the Real Households of Kawangware debutant released a song titled Drama Za Mama Miriam, 150 bob in a lamb to featuring an upcoming artist called Sadi. Through the song, DJ Shiti replies to her baby mama's claims of forsaking her through cheating and abandoning his responsibility as a father to their child. DJ Shiti hits on bloggers, asking them to provide equal measure of information from both parties involved in the scandal. At the start of this week, his ex-level Fawz Hussein called on DJ Shiti to be cheating with a transgender woman called Brandy. Additionally, she added she does not support the family and his child. Responding to these claims, DJ Shiti said matters his family, he will speak on privately. On the song, Sadi advised those who are in showbiz to be private regarding relationship and family matters. As we promise, we will keep an eye on this matter with the DJ Shiti and the foes Hussein as it gets juicy day by day. And finally, Kanye West could soon find himself charged for allegedly attacking a fan outside an LA hotel. Law enforcement sources say cops have nearly completed their investigation and will soon ship the findings of the LA city attorney's office who will decide on whether to file any criminal charges against Kanye. We are told that between the paparazzi video evidence and the witnesses' statements, cops think there is enough evidence to charge Kanye with a crime. We know cops wanted to interview him but our sources say it never happened citing a busy schedule as we've told you Kanye is under investigation for allegedly punching an autograph seeker near the Soho warehouse in DTLA and the video shows the man laid out on the street as Kanye rages at folks who apparently work for him we were told at the time Kanye broke the guy's house Thank you for standing by. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My name is Kingsley Olwoko from Mungai Eve, Entertainment News Roundup.